So I'm painting this rim with brushes, basically, and it will come out looking pretty good. And um, this exact brush I use is called a synthetic chip brush. This is, this is one I've already painted with. I've cleaned it up, but they're white. And I order them on Amazon. You can find them at Walmart, but it's kind of hard. And they, I don't think they have them at Home Depot. I don't know exactly what this bristle is, but these are just so sharp, smooth, and accurate that they're the only thing I've used. I've tried every other brush, and these are the only things, the only brushes I can do this with and get away with it. I'm also using Rust-Oleum um, non-aerosol in a can, and this time I've tried something new. I've cut it with lacquer thinner. But honestly, I... I wouldn't recommend doing that it's a, it seems a little funny it seems like it's normal but it seems a little funny it doesn't seem to be coming out as smooth when I cut it with lacquer thinner but there's guys online that have done it or have been doing it for years I read it on the forums the only reason I use lacquer thinner is because I'm almost out of mineral spirits so other than that I haven't put anything else in it usually with Rust-Oleum oil-based enamel in the can, I will add a hardener too, like a catalyst hardener. And what that does is it makes your paint a little harder, gives it like a hard shell on top and it increases the gloss. And I think it makes it a little more durable, last longer. So I'm cutting in the outer edge right now and I'm pulling my strokes out. You can also use foam rollers for this too. If you want to paint with oil base or acrylic by hand, car parts or auto or whatever, if you want like a, a smooth sprayed looking finish, you can use um, foam rollers and you can get those almost anywhere. Those are like the only rollers that'll give you a really smooth finish. You can also add what's called Penetrol to the oil-based enamel and that helps it smooth out after you put, apply it. But this will come out pretty good. I've done this a lot. But as far as like cutting in, these brushes are just hands down. You can get them cheap too. Synthetic chip brushes, just type them into the Google or Amazon. I got these specific ones on Amazon probably 10 bucks for a pack of 20 of them or something. Cut such a sharp, accurate line with these. They're just on a whole nother level. And they're not very common either. So a lot of people don't know about them. And you might ask why I'm not just spraying this, um, like with a rattle can or, you know, Rust-Oleum in an aerosol can or something like that. That's because anything in a rattle can, typically, unless you pay 30 bucks for it and it's some kind of urethane, um, acrylic urethane, it's, it's not durable. It's kind of garbage, especially in automotive applications like this. It's not as tough and chemical resistant fades really quick you know there's definitely a massive difference trust me if I could I would definitely use it if I could get away with it and got the same type of durability and shine that I do out of a regular non aerosol oil based enamel but I don't also if you look they have there is acrylic in a can now it's kind of newer uh, in the commercial, you know, consumer grade, like you'll find it at Home Depot and stuff and with the other spray paints, that's pretty good. It's pretty tough, pretty durable. I just don't have any right now and I have a lot of oil-based enamel, so I'm using this. I don't like taping off. I'd rather just cut in than tape a, tape a rim off or have to remove the tire. This is just easier and quicker for me. Damn, I nailed the tire right there. That's all right, this is an old tire. Um, I already have another one ordered, so I'm gonna be mounting a new tire. 
I just don't know when I'm going to do it. I'll probably run this one for a little while. That's why I'm just painting the rim with it on the tire or with the tire on it. I didn't really prep this rim too well either. I didn't sand it at all. Um, the only thing I did was wash it. Okay, this is just my bike, so I'm not being too anal. I'm not too particular or picky. And I'm just pulling my strokes out so I have those straight lines. If any of the lines don't level out, they'll be straight. So here's the cheap foam roller that I used. And these are from the Dollar Tree. Honestly, I would get more expensive ones if you're gonna go that route because this one leaves kind of like a rough texture. I'll show you. I painted these forks over here with it. And it definitely leaves some really good orange peel opposed to just the brush. I should have just used the brush, but these are good enough for me, you know, for my bike, my purpose. I brushed these calipers last night and they look a lot better. I didn't prep them, I didn't sand them. I just washed them and brushed them and they came out pretty glossy, fairly smooth, especially for no sanding or prep work. Here's what these chip brushes look like. And this, these are the only thing I would attempt this with and these are the only brushes I really have confidence in that it'll come out smooth. They're just so sharp and accurate and smooth. They just flow with oil base. And then here's the type of oil base I use, just Rust-Oleum in the can. Here's the lacquer thinner I used today. And here's that hardener I typically use. You add this in with your oil base, has the instructions on the back. Gives it a nice hard gel, high gloss. Here it is all done. This is the side I painted earlier with the brush. And it don't look too bad, especially for not prepping this rim. Like there were chips in the paint already and stuff like that. But it's just a rim. It's low to the ground. So I'm not too concerned about the details. I would never brush paint a tank though, personally. Yeah, I've never tried it. I don't think I ever would. I spray those. I get out the gun and spray it. It's a shit show every time. But yeah, for stuff that, you know, the little details like this and stuff that's low to the ground, like rims and calipers, I find I can get away with brush painting them. And they come out pretty good. Thanks for tuning in. You stay frosty. Don't take anything personally. Be impeccable with your word. Always do your best. I will see you on the next one.